Howdy, folks. Creepy Kentucky in here. And I'm Uncle Bill. Oh, my God. We got a treat for you now, though. Oh, shit. We're going to get in trouble. This is going to be the one that'll get us in trouble, Uncle Bill. But fuck it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard to keep my comments and opinions objective to what I'm saying. So, but, yeah, we're going to do a watch along here. We've done a couple of these on the same night. I guess we're not fooling anybody. We've got the same fucking clothes on. But this is probably the one that people would maybe be most interested in hearing what in the hell we've got to say. I've actually never watched this all the way through. I only watched the first couple of minutes of it. Have you watched all of it? No, I could only get through about the first three minutes, then I got pissed off. So I'll be curious to see how it all goes. So, yeah, to set it up for you. Tony Moran... It's kind of an asshole. He's always been an asshole. He's always, for years, talked mega amounts of shit at conventions. Is it tongue in cheek? Was he kidding around? Who's to say? Hey, he sounds like he's <laughs> one of the fucking good fellas over here. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let ah, me ask you, though. Fucking Tyler, man. Uh, you fucking giant. What are you going to do? <coughs> you going to choke slam me? Fucker. <laughs> Did you meet him at any point? I did, yeah. I think I, initially, as soon as like I got back from the show, I was like, this guy doesn't, he is not out for anything but making money. I swear to God, I th- it seems like I remember that because I think I was going to meet him and then you told me, like, it, you know, just don't yeah, do it. I was like, all right. It. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, and there's just so many stories that I can tell about Tony Moran that I'm just not going to. There's enough out there about him. Ain't no point. But yeah. Yeah. So he finally got outed uh, a couple months ago. All right. There's a video floating around of like, it's like a compilation of some of the shit that he said. He called, called Tyler Maine a cocksucker and all this other shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. But in a way that's great in, in some way, but it, he, uh, yeah, there's, there's a video where they just strung together like a bunch of his more infamous quotes that he said about people, including fans and things like that, too. And so now it's time for like 2021 Damage Control Tour where he goes around and tries to, you know, reshape his image. Yeah, well, th- th- here's the thing, too. Like, Danielle Harris, I'm not sure who her manager is at this point. But I'm almost thinking that they have the same manager and maybe the manager is like, hey, Danielle, would you mind helping us out doing a little bit of damage control here for Mr. Tony? I don't know if it was that or she is just really that fucking dumb. Like, I don't know if she knows what the video, what was on the video or just didn't, you know, I mean, I don't want to pick on Danielle Harris. We've never had an issue with her or anything, but obviously she didn't know what all was said on that video. I don't think she'd seen the video in its entirety. Um, so I don't, I don't imagine that she has and we've never like had any kind of issue with her or anything like that, but just from an objective standpoint. So anyway, but before I go into that, like, so she goes and makes a video at a horror convention with him in it. And it was the oddest thing ever when I first watched it because it's basically like a um, like a sales pitch for him or something. And she's like, basically like he's a good guy. Like he's a he's a nice guy. Now the funniest part about this to me is is that right after this video came out, then she immediately did another video where she's like, she was like a backpedaling video. Mm, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. So, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd almost what? like to interview her about it and just be like, and maybe we should, or maybe we could. I don't know. Just be like, what the fuck is, what happened? Like, what's How going on? How did this on? come to be? What was, yeah. yeah, what did you have to gain by doing this? So, evidently, too, I want to be talking to uh, Jason Schneeberger, who was at this convention, Days of the Dead. Yeah. Tony Moran, evidently, according to what he was saying online, was going to sign autographs for free all weekend. <laughs> So we will see if he does that or if he did that. Um, But I guess right now what we're going to do is we're going to do just a live watch along of this first video. I think she's done, you said she's done a total of three now. She did the backpedaling video and then she did like another update video. I think just as early as today. I haven't watched it, but 
Yeah, so that's why that's my. I haven't watched any of these except for the first three minutes of this one. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to. to so see. let's get it queued up and get ready to rock and roll here. Well, they're really good buddies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I did the video. So they're going to set the record straight now. Doesn't it look like he has dentures in or something? See that right there? She's like, he loves his fans. How the fuck do you know? I think he loves his fans' money. Because according to what I've heard, that's the only way that he, like that's that's his way of life is these conventions. He doesn't do anything else. But my thing is, um, you know, I got canceled with Scarefest, and I was. I applaud Scarefest for canceling. By the way. <laughs> Good job. So according to this, Danielle wanted to record this. Do you love your fans or do you love your fans' money? That's the question I ask. Are you thinking like Danielle could smell the liquor on his breath from here or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm this so This is so awkward. Okay, he got we got a little bit of backpedaling. Okay, he's he's the he's the most blessed guy up until you know he got outed. Yeah. What's the deal with all the Mickey Mouse tattoos that he's got all over his arms now? He didn't always have those. I don't know. It's him. It's the fans' money and probably him being at conventions. Yeah, he probably went to like enough tattoo slash horror conventions to get them done for free. I hope he didn't pay too much for those. So he's calling uh, Tyler Mayne a cocksucker was making fun of himself. Yeah. Oddly enough, dude, what Danielle Harris was in the damn movie with Tyler Maine. Right? Yeah. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> he is a joke. <laughs> He's right on the right on the money with that one. He don't have his girlfriend left him. He don't have her anymore. So what the hell is he babbling about? We're like almost five minutes in. She doesn't lie about a damn thing. She's telling the truth here. <laughs> Danielle looks fucking confused. <laughs> she, she does. I think crazy. like right about now she knew a that she'd messed up and b that like he wasn't going to say anything that she wanted him to say i'm positive by watching just what i've seen so far that she didn't watch the video at all yeah i'm also thinking that maybe either his manager or somebody came up to her and was like hey we'll give you a hundred bucks to go and film this video <laughs> Don't use hate against hate. Rise above hate. Rise above the hate. Yeah. I'd about 100% guarantee he's not going to go up to Tyler Mayne and call him a cocksucker. Unless he wants his head ripped off. Scarefest is a great show, guys. I hopefully, hopefully they book me there again so I can charge $40 for my autograph. 
I don't blame Danielle Harris here. I think that she was bombarded by somebody. She don't know what's going on. She's a deer in the headlights. <laughs> I don't feel she's like, like she what does. the fuck? What, what is on that yeah. video? Yeah, that's what she's thinking about. Oh, shit. Maybe he talked about fucking a dog or something in that video. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> I don't think she understands. I don't. I you can tell she really doesn't understand. She's like, oh, I want to get the fuck away from him. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly what she's thinking. He smells like ass and booze. <laughs> like, you can totally tell which hotel that is, by the way. They've had them same damn walls there for like 15 <laughs> years. Yeah. Oh, he has, he's only making fun of you. See, yeah. if that's what he was doing, it was, a, it was an act. It's haters, though. Oh. It's just haters. Keep that in mind. Listen to how you talk. I'm not going to deny my fans of him. I was the star of Halloween. I was the face of evil over here. He's really not making any sense. No, I think he's drunk. Yeah, he's like, fuck. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm grateful for your money. Oh, get me another Mickey Mouse tattoo over here. She swears to God. He swears to God. He, that wasn't ever supposed to happen. She's just doing him a favor. Poor old Tony. <sighs> she's never seen it, though. Uh, I, I guarantee you. that she's never watched it. He's still working on me or him. He's a crying drunk, Uncle Bill. I don't I don't know what's going on here, but I just get the feeling that she really did not want him to be so like oh, oh no. Shit. Oh, God. What? What, what the fuck? They hate me and shit like that. It's making me cry over here. What did you see that one popped up? Tony Moran's apology. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that she wanted to step into that. <laughs> like, I just don't. Yeah, I think she immediately regretted that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> First comment on here: Tyler would like to speak to you as well. <laughs> Are you going to apologize to Tyler? May fucking go. No, you I'd say he's probably, to him? he's probably not going to go anywhere around Tyler Mayne, I'd say. Yeah. So obviously, like. Danielle has the, the, the just a deer in a headlight look the entire time. So, mm -hmm. if I was a betting man, I'm not say this definitely happened, but I think that his manager or whoever's controlling him was prob probably talked her into doing some sort of video or something like that for another payday. That's what it seems like to me. I mean, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'd say she's going to probably say that she just did it to be doing it but uh, like all the stuff that he said like i can't imagine you, somebody just wanting to be like let me insert myself into this drama now and just you know 
Like she cl- yeah. she couldn't have had an idea of what was going on. Like all the the totality of what was going I on. I don't think so either. But it is an interesting. I want to see. Subject. I want to see the the other video. <laughs> She's like backpedaling on that. Well, fuck it. Let's get it queued up here too. Let's see if I can find it. Because this is like better than any soap opera that could be going on right now. I guess we're going to do uh, part two. We're going to do the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Daniel Harris's trilogy here. All right. Hi, Hi, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> you doing? Isn't she doing like a podcast or something? Maybe that's what it is. Uh, okay. Here it comes. So. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. First of all, I know there's been a lot of conversation about my interview whatever you want to call it, with uh, Tony Moran yesterday. Um, yeah, that is. Just to set the record straight, um, I am not Team Tony. Oh. By any means. Take that. Okay? She's Team Edward. My intention, because I had not seen Tony at all since I saw that video that was made, so she did see it. And Fuck you, buddy. She's seen it after she filmed the the, the video, but. He was in another movie. Oh, so she has seen bad behavior at conventions. Yep. I saw him sit down. It was. I never come down early for conventions. I just so happened to come down early because I knew it was going to be crazy yesterday. So anyone that's been to a show of mine that I'm not knows I'm down about a half an hour after it starts because I'm just kind of getting myself. Yeah, she's there. got a hangover a little bit and just getting over it. And Tony was sitting there without people, and I thought, you know what? All that popped into my mind was I haven't seen him. He talked a lot of shit about the fans. He's a shit talker, Tony Moran is. She's got it right now. Uh huh. I'm gonna go ask him what that was all about. But you didn't confront him though. Like, what is she talking about? Like, you ain't fucking. It's you know, a horrible <laughs> video that they made about you, Tony. Why would they do that? It's like she's acting like she's dying saw you or something. She's just got her like, you'll kill her. That's <laughs> I'm confronting you, motherfucker. That's a terrible video they made about you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. Fans love you. You know, it was a horrible place to do it. Yeah, it was. I'll give you that. I didn't want to tell him I was going to do it. It's dead. There wasn't nobody coming up to it. Neither one of you fuckers at that convention, so you had plenty of time. <laughs> She's keeping it real, though. But this Honey is what can't even real. give his autograph away now. Oh, really? Good buddy Tony. She didn't think about it. She just... She knows to go to him if she needs some liquor. She's like Oprah. <laughs> what is going on? She don't follow him on Facebook, but he's a good friend, Tony. She's really distancing herself right now. I think that was a big mistake. Listen. What'd you expect him to do? You walk up to him. Here, tell your story. You got bamboo. Well, Tony was a little bit intoxicated as well. Uh-huh. 
And then he started crying because he couldn't believe that Dad Dad would do that for him. No. <laughs> God. God damn. I'm okay. <laughs> We're just making fun of shit. <laughs> it is warm in here, huh? No. He doesn't have any more fans, Danielle. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. I, I'm pretty sure they all don't give a fuck about Tony Moran. Yeah, I don't think John Carpenter even remembers what his name is. <laughs> You don't want to invite him to your hotel room, Danielle, trust me. This is maybe more the environment to do with him when there's not a lot of people around. I have no problem doing that and addressing it. It's not really my place. I don't know what the situation is. Yeah, it's definitely not your place. You kind of fucked up from the get-go. I don't know what his beef with Tyler or... I don't know what the situation is. So that's my truth. That's, that's the truth. That's her truth. You know what my truth is? Yeah, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't think there's any saving uh, Tony Moran's career at this point, even if he had a career. His convention career. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. He should. Maybe, maybe they can book him at some used car dealerships and haunted houses and shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I wish he was here too. I'd like to see him kick Tony Moran's ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking powerball me through them tables. <laughs> me laying there with all the shape my team. Fucking cocksucker. Oh shit, you're like seven foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> So she's just got through saying he's acted like an ass like a million times, basically. Evidently not. Oh, I'm no. Hell, yeah, she's getting right in it. So what's she gonna do now? Just read comments from fucking people on Instagram? Apparently. You want to go ahead and skip the next video? Um, yeah, let's just go to the next one. Yeah, let's find the next one, Danielle. Let's see. Let me find Lord. another video here. Twenty minutes. <laughs> You can you handle twenty minutes of Tony Brand going on? I don't know. That's what it's gonna be. Oh God. We need to show too, if it's if it's still up at some point, the video of him saying all this shit or the compilation of it that somebody put together. Yeah, we'd probably do that. So this is the newest one, which is actually the night we recorded this. And who knows, they may be three or four more of them by the weekend, Uncle Bill. I don't know. But uh, this is another one that features I think there both, will be. both Tony and Danielle, again, joining forces to fight the, you know, rise above hate. Yeah. Oh, right, so. <laughs> uh, God, I can't wait. Let's, let's cue it up here, boys. Uh, Lord, he's drunk as fuck, ain't he? <laughs> I, what is going on? Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my closed caption on. I can't see shit on me. Is, is he back staying in somebody's garage or something? Where's he at? Okay, cool. So I had to just turn down my phone because it was like stereo in here with all these phones going up. Yeah. Connect with the handheld. Sure. I don't think he's got any teeth. No, he's he's definitely missing some missing some teethers. He's definitely saying somebody's garage, too, I think. Where's he at? Or is he at a bar? I don't know where he's at. 
What the hell is that back there in the back? Is that smoke? Or is that like bubbles? I can't tell. What is going on? I have no idea. Is he underwater? <laughs> He's probably got some sort of filter on. Oh, here we go. She's turned Diane Sawyer mode on. I called him a cocksucker. <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> but it's... We're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll get your comments next here, Tony. <laughs> Sally Jesse over here. I can't wait. Fan wasn't joking. I mean, chances are that he was probably right. Whatever derogatory shit he said, he probably deserved it though. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've met, I've met Tony Moran. He's like he's kind of a dickhead. <laughs> Start crying. Yeah. <laughs> He's got anger management problems now. My mistake is drinking alcohol or fucking they thing, you. Yeah. Somebody in a bar knocked my teethers out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he does feel terrible about this whole situation. Uh, Especially because ain't nobody paying to see him no more. He get his autographs and shit. He can't get any more than Mickey Mouse tattoos. He has a 16-year-old daughter. I bet he doesn't pay child support. Well, you don't. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm just doing, trying to figure out why there's bubbles and shit coming up off that. Maybe it's his bong smoke or something. What do you think? Oh, okay. Now they're going to talk about the LGBT stuff. Of course. I can't wait. I can't wait to listen to this bullshit. I really can't. Does everybody say it? Here's the thing. Well, you're doing a pretty good fucking job. <laughs> you're making me unhappy right now. I'm unhappy every time I see your toothless ass at the convention. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I can take much more of this, Uncle Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I hope she forgives me. Well, you know, I'm not going to 
maybe you should just have a conversation with her first. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And this is some riveting like stuff, that, though. That, 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 no, this is like no some fucking real Jenny Jones, yeah, Sally yeah. Jesse stuff. When we get back from this commercial <laughs> break coming up, we're going to have John Carpenter on here. We're going to see if he knows who the fuck you are. John Carpenter be like, fuck you, I'm playing video games. <laughs> No, they're not going to get John Carpenter. They're going to get John Carpenter's stand in. Alan Howarth, that did all the ripped off John Carpenter's theme song for decades. They're going to get Alan on here. Danielle Harris couldn't look any more uncomfortable if she had a pine cone up her ass. Why did like, she do this? Look at her. Like, this one right here makes the least amount of sense. <laughs> it does. With any of these videos that she did. People are accepting your apology, Tony. Everybody deserves a second chance. And I just apologize and then this is so that's it. Okay. And I and I apologize also for uh the the comments I made about Jim Lee Curtis and and John Carpenter. Uh, I don't even know what he said about them. That they were banging or something? Is that what he said? I, I think it was something like that. <laughs> this guy's a fucking gold mine of just the wrong shit to say. I'd like to apologize for what I said about that little girl that was in Halloween. I called her a little hooah. It was 10 years ago. Ancient history. I forgive him, Uncle Bill. How about you? Let's forgive him. <laughs> I forgive him. I'm, I'm, I like his apology. What? Wait. <laughs> so he's bringing this up again. John Carpenter smacked the fuck out of Deborah Hill. He gave her a black. He gave a fucking black ass. Oh my god, what is he doing, man? Deborah Harris is like, hey, God. <laughs> That's exactly the look on her face. I'm so oh. fucking dumb. Wow. I'm not doing it. I don't think anybody's getting their nose done way back in, Danielle. You know, it's not like today. My God, though, man. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's like slanderous. Just to be like, yeah, he beat the shit out of him. I don't really know. But, you know, I'm guessing. I saw she had a black eye. You know, I put two and two together. I was in here. He smacked the fuck out of that bitch. Seriously, though, fucking look at Tony. <laughs> he looks like a fucking homeless man. I know, I know. I'm a hot girl about it. Look at 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 it. Well, you're only in it for like fucking four seconds, you dumbass. Rob Zombie, he wanted to do a remake of a beautiful movie, you know? And I'm a snob about it. You know, but what? That I don't feel ashamed of, okay? Yeah, but that's like every other. I didn't put it down. A movie that you don't even know what it entails. 
No, it ain't. What the fuck is she talking about? I'm in it, so it's good. That's a piece of shit. <laughs> Tony Moran did make the good move there by not watching that. that Raw yeah, I, that's the movie. only thing I agree with him on this whole thing. Yeah, it's just him being like, yeah, that movie's shitty. I don't know. I wish I'd it. never seen it. <laughs> It is, though. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of shit. Daniel, I admit it. I admit it. I haven't liked, I'm not trying to skirt the issue. I'm a, it's strictly for being a snob. But I, I can't say it's shit. He's going to tell you what. I'll watch it when I get back home. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it this week, as a matter of fact, and I'll take the comments. I'll watch it when I get back to the shelter. Yeah, I didn't like it. We all, we both saw it. It fucking sucked. Oh, everybody, everybody loves Rob Zombie and Rob Zombie's Halloween. Shh, God. Oh, hey, well, how about that? Why don't you watch, why don't you watch it with me? Oh, I'll do that for sure. Are you in L.A., right? Yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to call you. Okay. I'm going to call you when I get home, and we're going to watch it live together. Have we learned nothing? Can we call this? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this. Let's stop this shit. We ain't going nowhere now. <clears throat> so, okay. Now she's trying to promote some sort of fucking commentary thing that she wants to do with fucking Tony Moran. <clears throat> well, we got through most of it. That was that had more twists and turns than the fucking Star Wars trilogy. It really did. Like that was. <laughs> it's like so. It went from. I'm just naive to this whole situation. I just wanted him to, to you know, be honest with the fans, and be you know, and apologize, to, the middle one, which was, uh, you I know, overreacted. Hey, you know it's uh. <laughs> Tony Moran did say some bad things, right? Yeah. yeah. Really bad uh, things. Homophobic things. To the end, which was, now they're going to do a commentary and watch Halloween together. All right. I mean, whatever. What it seems to me like is, is that she's just very, um, and I kind of applaud her for this, she's very anti-cancel culture, which you should be, because that's the dumbest shit that's ever existed. Um and in that regard, like, I do a plug, but, like, make up your mind, though, about what the fuck you're doing. Honestly, though, I think that ultimately Tony Moran was kind of already canceled even before this, wouldn't you say? Because he doesn't, it's not like he did that many conventions or anything anymore. No, I mean, it was never, like, to me anyway, that he was usually popular. Like, he was always, like, one of the last, the last rungs down the, the line of people that you would want to get. And he never had that many people like come up to him or anything like that um but for that matter you know neither did she really i mean a couple but more than him i'll give her that but it's not like they're blowing the world away or anything uh she probably got a lot more when she did the the halloween remake but there's a lot of stupid people out there that like that movie um this is just so, it, the whole thing is just bizarre to me i think that ultimately it started it could have been either the manager, his manager was like, hey, we would really appreciate it if you would, you know, maybe they are friends. I don't know. Maybe she got paid off. I don't know. Could be. Or they were just insanely bored at Days of the Dead, and she was just, that. that's how she was spending her time for 15 minutes or whatever it was. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that she really didn't have anything to gain by doing any of this shit. She's not fucking Oprah Winfrey or Sally Jesse <laughs> Raphael. She was going with that, though. She's got a lot of followers, a lot of Instagram followers. If it were me, I would think it would be too big of a risk to, to even fool with that shit. That's just my opinion. Because, honestly, she's probably got more Instagram followers than people that even knew about the Tony Moran shit or even who the hell Tony Moran was. Yeah, I mean, he's not like, it's just not, 
a household name. The only time he's a household name or, or a name is when people are like, he's the guy that played Michael Myers. He's not that, but people say that all the time. And I guess you can get away with saying it because you played him for like four seconds or whatever. But, you know, the people that know, know better than that. Right. And uh, just the whole thing. Like, I, the part that bothers me the most about that whole thing is just she spent that entire time, with the exception of the middle part of the video, like basically trying to give him outs. Just being like, you know, walking back everything he said. Like, I don't know, man. Like, do you really want to give somebody like that a bunch of outs that's just saying shit? About everybody all the time. Yeah, talking an endless amount of shit about everybody associated with that movie. Didn't say yeah. a positive, didn't say one positive thing. Now, that's not to say he never said any one positive thing about it. I can tell you when I went up to Tony Moran uh, back in 2007, we were getting ready to post our John Carpenter interview and we had a flyer and I was like, hey, this is our radio show. We're having John Carpenter on. We would love to maybe get you on sometime. We did interview Tony Moran at that show, like a little brief video interview. But he looked about as disinterested as possible because he wasn't making no money from it. And that was the instant vibe that I got from him. Um, and I understand everybody's in this to make money and everything, but like you could tell he gave a single fuck about anything else. Didn't say one thing about the movie. Just well, he's not. Twenty dollars. I mean, even he kind of admits he's not invested in any of this. Like he did, you know, he did, really doesn't watch the movie. He doesn't. He never watched the remakes or anything like that. And he was only in the movie for like. Why would he really use in the movie for like four or five seconds? So that's true. But at the same not, time, you're you're taking cash. You could at least halfway act like you appreciate somebody coming up there and throwing twenty dollars at you, so you could scribble your fucking name. I'm That's not the sure. There's very few people I've ever met these shows of that do that anyway. Like it, he's right up at the top of the list of people that like do not give a fuck about that. No. You're right. I don't think he gives a damn about any of it to be honest, because he he doesn't like the movie. I don't think he liked Carpenter. I don't think he's he talking endless. A, he gives a damn at this point because he's pretty much blacklisted. I think. You know, the Bill Philput shows are pretty much the only ones. And I i don't know for sure. I, I don't know if Philput is his manager now or what. But that's the only shows, convention-wise, that I've seen him booked at for years, actually. The Scarefest show he, he was originally booked at kind of surprised me, even before all this, because he hasn't done any shows, hardly, just due to his behavior at past. You know, I mean, his, he's burnt a lot of bridges at, at conventions. I can tell you that well yeah that she's just details. she's saying that the whole thing doesn't make any sense man because she's basically saying yeah i've seen him be like an asshole a hundred times or whatever but yeah. uh you know let's talk to him and see if we can redeem this somehow or another. so yeah that is it i guess for the video i know a lot of people have been sending me these links this is the only time i've really watched this stuff so i'm i'm a little still baffled at why this was even a thing um, I think that she kind of regrets it, but at the same time, it's like she keeps digging. <laughs> yeah. I think she's an investigative reporter. I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm not sure what, like you said, like what she has to gain out of any of this or what she's doing, but, uh, whatever, you know, yeah. she's, she really wants to give this guy a second chance. I'll give her that. So, uh, yeah, that is it. Hope everybody enjoyed, uh, this concept. If you like these comments, commenting videos reaction videos whatever the hell you want to call it let us know we will be doing more of them at some point if you know we'll see how it goes yeah there'll probably be five more parts to this by next time we do any videos so. this will be like obsolete be out there, yeah so. but uh, until next time i am the creepy kentucky and i'm uncle bill check us out over it well dead pit on patreon.com don't forget about that shit right and dead pit Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. 
Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.